All right, let's go. Oh, Linus, hello. I've explored deep into the caves, and they hold some hidden secrets. That was useful information. Have a hazelnut. Okay. As I was going to say, time to go confront the great witch Hazel. See if she's all the evil that old Rasmodius cracked her up to be. I think... Yeah, I just killed that squirrel. No, that's, uh... That is one dead friend to the animals right there. <laughs> I killed Rocky. No, wait. Was Rocky the squirrel? Yeah, he was. Of course, he had to be. Bullwinkle's the moose. Yeah, there we go. Timely. All right, let's do this. Now, nah, how's this gonna go? What the hell? All right. Getting a little zelda here, but whatever. Fish castle. Oh, right, I gotta bring a fish to Jody's for dinner. I don't have a lot of time right now. Um, okay, I hope I have enough time to get back. Can I, can I get back? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. All right. That's gotta be annoying to her. Like, who the hell keeps doing that? Stop it. Can I dig these up? Nope, those are just weird little spoofly things. Okay. Oh my god, I think I just stepped into the prequel to the Dark Crystal. Gwee ha, human. Oh my god, look at those eyes. That dude is. You haven't slept in days. You want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. <laughs> He's very genial for a henchman. Um, I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. I'd lose my job. I have goblin children to feed. Do you have any idea how much goblin university is? Surprisingly expensive. Okay. Um, goblin problem. There's a goblin blocking the path to the witch's hut. There must be some way to get him to move. Perhaps I should seek out more information on goblins. Alright. Yeah, I guess I should do that. I didn't think my quest would be like... You have unsealed the dark crystals, uh, the dark crystal. You've unsealed the dark passage to the witch's lair. Now you must deal with municipal politics, goblin unions, and the judiciary system in which their society exists. File out the appropriate paperwork and make your claim. Like, oh, <laughs> all right. I could just hit him with a hammer and that would probably do just as well, but, um, who the hell would I talk to? Okay, well, no, I shouldn't say that. The obvious answer is Rasmodius. If anybody's got information where goblins are concerned, it's going to be the guy who literally brokered a peace agreement between the shadow creatures and the dwarves. Seems like a solid place to start, but I suppose another place to look would be the museum. There might be something there, and uh, slime hunter... God damn, no, I'm not killing slimes for you. Not today. Uh, oh, Jody's birthday is... Oh, yeah, and Abigail's... Really? Oh, shut the hell up and have a grape here. Look, there. Good. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Be quiet. Don't harass me for going through your dustbin. You're not using it. Uh, let's see. Have an ice cream. There you go. You're welcome. Have an ice cream. Yeah, we're all friends here, aren't we? Okay. Let's run over to the museum, see if it's still open, and uh, procure any information on the goblin folk. Then again, I suppose if we can't find anything there, you could always ask Krobus, or we could ask our dwarven friend. He seems to have information on these things. Uh, wait, what? Uh, foraging? No. Where's, damn it. Solak un... Gosh, for freaking hell. Alright, uh... Old Farmer's Journal. Secret of Stardrop. Okay, let me out of here. Um, Brewmaster's Guide. Mysteries of the Dwarves. The Smolani Blech. I believe the doors in the realms of once advanced civilization where his interplanetary vehicle crashed there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was written by somebody. Um, marriage guide. Nope. Uh, how about here? Star Atlas. Well, why can't I read that? History of the Gro Gotoro Empire. Geological history of Stardew Valley. It's ragged but still cute. Oh, the freaking doll. All right. Saw something weird in the tunnel leading out from Pelican Town. There's a little door hidden in the dark. Couldn't get it open, though. Yeah, I already did, so... <sighs> okay, you know what? Let's ask the man himself. Gunter, can you help me? Nope, you're useless. All right. And I would run over to Rasmodius' house, but we are getting damn close to fish time. So that's one mystery that's going to have to wait until after supper. So, the hell am I going to do while I wait? Yeah, you know what? Might as well fish. Do I have anything equipped? The treasure one. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Might as well grab some of these here blackberries. 
jam them into my jammy jam jammer by the time I get homey home home. And we'll just fish right outside of Jody's house because I really don't feel like walking. All right. Hey, maybe I'll even catch a largemouth bass. I mean, I already have one, but you know, counting two. That was something I was thinking like, I'll bring them all. It's like, no, the last time I did that, you took all of my wine. I don't put it past you to take all my fish. Like, hey, Jody, look, I brought some fish. Oh, good, I'll take them all. No, you just need one. Okay, take them all. No, that's that's fine too. All right, give me all of the berries. And now we'll put this there, and now we go to their house, and now it is it's cinematic time, yes? Um, oh yeah, okay. Buckles, please, come in. Is this an intervention? Look, I don't have a drinking problem, I just make vast amounts of beer. Oh, Buckles, I'm so glad you came, and you brought the fish, wonderful. Yeah, I keep these things on hand just in case you people request something. Sam, could you come in here and help clean this fish? Yes, ma'am. Oh, respectful guy, despite the snarky look. Where's the other one? Don't you have two? There's, there's a smaller one. <laughs> Blah! <laughs> Just, yeah, there it is. Cut it up. Wow, it looks wonderful, and it smells so fresh. Really? I caught that thing like a year ago. Thanks so much for doing this, Buckles. Eh, it's good. Kent caught a fish, too, but he eats about a whole fish to himself. Jesus, man, really? <laughs> okay. I'm proud of my fish-eating abilities. Bones and everything. That was crispy. Bass was delicious. The breading was to die for. It almost feels like... I almost feel like part of the family now. In spite of the fact that I have my own. <laughs> now. Now I feel like I'm part of the family. Ten-minute meal. Jeez, that's dine and dash, right? Okay. I don't know if Asmodeus has his doors open late at night. But again, I feel like if there is anyone in the grand scope of Stardew Valley that would know anything about how to deal with moving a goblin from his post, it would be the man who can literally teleport through time and space. And I am being distracted by the copious vast bushes of blackberries. Oh god, you're distracted. Come on, guys. I'm, I, I got places to go and things to do. Stop giving me freaking all this foraging stuff. I'm happy about it, but at the same time, it's irritating. All right. Now to see a wizard about a goblin problem. Goddamn bushes are so freaking full of bounty. You gotta cut it out. I'm gonna get distracted and he's gonna be closed by the time I get there. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we're almost at his doorstep. This is good. N no more bushes, please. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, oh, there's another one. I can't help myself. I see it and I gotta forage. Fucking hell. God damn it. Okay, I can't see anymore. La 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 la. No more berries, no more bushes. Be -be 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 -be. Open your door. Open it. Yeah. Okay. I need help with goblins. Ah, yes. I've seen things about your future, young buckles. How do I deal with goblins? If I were to tell you, there could be grave consequences. You shit. Okay, I'm going into your freaking book collection then. I gotta freaking see. Is there something here that might be able to. No? Really? Okay. Um. This must end up teleporting there at some point. That's a similar symbol. Not you, you demon statue. I know what you're all about. Okay, um... Oh! Maybe this will help. Nope. What does this even say here? Okay, uh... There must be some way. Perhaps I should seek out more information about goblins. How would I do that? The Literally the only guy I could think of who would know anything about everything doesn't want to tell me anything at all. So... How do I learn more about something like... Jeez, Rasmodius, man, way to, way to leave a brother hanging. I come to you, seeking information, looking for a helping hand, seeing if maybe you can give me, like, a pointer, like, go here, find this, do the thing, but nope, nothing. Not even so much as a scrape or a whisper of what to do about goblins. I got no clue. The only other person I can think of... Well, I mean, and I'm using that term lightly in both cases now that I think of it, would be Krobus or the Dwarf. And there's no guarantee either one of them knows anything about them. God, my quest to get a guy's magic ink is... I, I knew! I knew this was going to happen. I knew the moment I took the quest, it wasn't going to be as simple as it should be, because it never is. Fair enough. But the fact that instead of being able to go up and talk to a witch and be like, Hey, your ex-husband wants his ink back. I've got to go through middle management and deal with 
a disgruntled goblin worker who is basically an overpaid bridge troll. He's very polite, I'll give him that. He well, Actually, I should probably put that in there. He's very polite. He is a very polite goblin. I mean, of all the goblins I have dealt with in my time, you know, he is by far the most genial and polite. And, and, and very well-mannered, despite his bloodshot eyes, which... Maybe the way to get by him is to get him some, like, eye drops or something like that. He looks like he could use a day off. Maybe I can give him gifts. I don't even know what goblins like, though. Not that I really care, either, but... I mean, jeez. Oh, why couldn't it have been simple? Is the wine ready? Maybe we could give him some age liqueur. Nope, of course it's not. It's gonna be the freaking story of my life. I'm gonna go through seasons will come, seasons will go, sunrise, sunset, and the wine still won't be aged and ready. But you know what? Maybe, maybe waking up in the morning and seeing a fresh new day will invite some sort of magical convergence where Asmodeus will be like, hey, I should help Buckles, or someone will put a message in my box and be like, heard you had a goblin problem, to which I would say, all right, how the hell did you hear about that? I have literally told no one. Oh, uh, you got anything? Hey, Buckles, heading out into the wild, I got you something. You know what? At least the missus knows the score. She gave me a bomb because at some point, somebody's getting blown up. That much we can, we can pretty much say with absolute certainty. At the end of the day, no matter what happens, no matter how dire the situation, somebody's going boom. And this iridium statue is awesome. Just keeps spitting out iridium. I mean, yeah, again, mining is... Oh, hey, hold on. Here we go. This might be the message we're waiting for. Dear Buckles, one week from today, the Stardew Valley... I don't care. Unless you've got something to tell me about goblins, you can shut the hell up. I don't have time to deal with you. I'm dealing with cosmic level threats now. I can't just be worrying about the... The, the, the Stardew Valley Fair and the Grange. Pierre knows he's gonna get his ass kicked again. That's good enough for me. It's not something I'm worried about. This is not possibility. This is fact. He's gonna get stomped. We all know it. We've all seen it. Good old Pierre. It will not fare very well at the Stardew Valley Fall Fair. Festival. Whatever. I tried to make it rhyme and it kind of worked. Oh boy though. Who the hell in town? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna toss this one to you. Who do you think would be the best person to talk to when it comes to goblin-related affairs? Because, I mean, off the top of my head, I'm thinking, like, it had to be Rasmodius, right? Or, I've got to dig up an artifact that's going to tell me something about goblins I didn't know already. Or i got to find an artifact that... You get what I'm saying, right? Like, there's something there about goblins that I just... I just haven't found yet. That's the other possibility, that there might be something I need to unearth that I simply haven't done at this point. But, it could be none of those things. Maybe I gotta talk to Haley. Maybe she, maybe in her travels and photographing, she's made some, shut up you damn sheep. Maybe she's taken a picture of goblins. Maybe she knows something about goblins that I never gave her credit for because I don't give her credit for anything. Cause she's Haley and she's easily one of the most, well, I can remember a time when Demetrius and Abigail held those positions, but she's easily one of the most mm, dislikable people on the planet. On the planet. Eh, I don't know how big this world is. In Stardew Valley at the very least. I can say that much. I can say that much. Oh, man. I have no idea where to begin this frickin' goose chase, this, this egg hunt. Let's just read this one more time. There's a goblin blocking the path to the witch's hut. There must be some way to get him to move. Perhaps I should seek out more information on goblins. Gain entrance to the witch's hut. <sighs> Doesn't even give me a hint of where to start. Two truffles, though. All right, that's not bad. Well, you know what? You win some, you lose some. And uh, the early bird gets the worm, but sometimes the early bird is a goblin, and you have no idea what time he wakes up. Figure that metaphor out. <laughs> But while I go make some truffle oil and try to track down information on the goblin folk, you guys enjoy this one. Or at least I hope you did. I sure did. God, I really want to know more about this witch. I got a feeling she's not as bad as Rasmodius makes her out to be. Like, I really do think... Okay, like, yeah, he 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 messed her up in terms of, like, breaking things off their marriage. Maybe they're good. Whether there was a good reason. I suspect not. But we'll learn more once we figure out how to move 
pointy McRed eyes. Think of a better name for him along the way, too. So, until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.